We're having a show titled Visual What at the Padnos Gallery. Because I think a lot of what art is for me is sort of like negotiating my existence, <laughs> figuring out like who I am and what I'm doing in this world, like where am I? It is a collection of a group of visual studies students that decided to get together and put on a show. Some people will argue that I'm not an actual artist because I don't have the skills that the traditional artists will use, but I think, I think I'm an artist because I have something important to say. And I really try to say that through my work. We thought we would kind of show people what visual studies is about because a lot of kids don't know what exactly it's about. See, a lot of people think like when you're making something abstract, it's just, oh, the, the brilliant artist is just throwing color on a panel and he's just, he just has it in his heart. And really, there's a lot of freaking work that goes into it. I, I think abstract paintings are the hardest ones because people have to look at it and get something else out of it than just, oh, it's red or that's, oh, that's, that's really deep. Um, so right now what we're doing is just kind of situating ourselves in the gallery. Um, you always have a floor plan on you and you kind of have an idea of it, but it's really the best thing to do is just to get into the space and kind of see where everything's going and how it's going to bounce off each other and how the work works together. My name's Jenny Wenzel. I'm a fourth year visual studies major. I have two projects that will be in the show. One of them is a video piece. I wanted to kind of bring out that experience of what it's like to get in a car accident. It was just really kind of like dark and it was one of the darker pieces that I've done and that's when I first started to realize that my work is a little bit dark and it's it's coming out that way. I, I never even thought I was gonna be a painter, it's crazy. I started college as a computer science major. No art experience. I just, I basically just dived in. Turned out my professor was excited about what I was making, so I kept going with it. And here I am, two semesters later, still going at it. Making interactive art pieces is like the coolest thing ever. <laughs> I'm so glad that I'm in visual studies. I'm really interested in visual studies too because it's, it is this technology influence which, you know, like sort of dominates our, our culture and, and the way we do things. So I think that it makes sense for art to sort of go in this technological sort of direction. The piece I created was this rendering of the Patnos Gallery where we're exhibiting, but I made it in The Sims 3, which is, if you're familiar with video games, then you know The Sims. I guess I'm pretty excited. I mean, kind of nervous too. I've seen countless shows since I've been here. So it's something I've been excited for and prepping myself for. Here I'm setting up this uh, little camera and it's going to view people going through the gallery and such and that's going to be my input for my uh, computer vision program so it'll cover like hopefully this whole area. With having a piece that is suspended you really have to pay attention to how long your strings are and then also according to that like what height you want them at so that's just really difficult so the main part that was difficult about this piece down here was hanging it. All right, so I've got to, hopefully when I plug this into that and press a button on that, my project's on this. So. <laughs> Okay, all right, let's get in the image. Just press escape, the mouse, and close it. Okay, come on. Oh, come on. Nope, it's not getting the signal, something's wrong. 
I think with this one in particular, I'm concerned about the lighting. All the other pieces that are gonna be down here need low light. And so it's gonna be almost dark in here except for my piece, which you need light in order to see how you're you know, interacting with the piece and what it is and everything. So we might have that worked out, but we'll never really know if it's gonna work out exactly until everything's set up and that we're thinking about the lights. And that doesn't come until like last. I've added audio, so the audio track from The Sims will be playing over the loudspeakers. It's just like birds and wind and the sim language, it's just gibberish really. Okay, force quit, max, press the escape button. All right, there, there it is. <laughs> I think the project is working. Okay, let's see if any dots appear. Yeah, they are. All right. Jenny's Where's appearing. The right up there. Nice. And you can see Jenny. Is that Kate over there in the middle? Yeah, this, this is Kate and that's Jenny. And, that's and then the here. stairs are right here. here. Yeah, that's you and Dexter. Or I think that's just Dexter right there. As of right now, it's worked for a good minute and a half already. Two minutes maybe. So, looking good. I've been here for 10 hours now, and I finished my piece, this one, and got them all installed and everything. It's finally almost done, it's pretty cool. It's just, it looks more polished and finished. Having it just kind of be in that finished, polished state, it, I feel like an actual exhibiting artist, not just an art student. I'm really excited to see how people interact and also like take in my piece and what they think about it. To know that people are going to take time out of their day and actually contemplate what we've put on the walls is a great feeling. I think we've, we've set it up to the point where everyone kind of like morphs in and it's more cohesive as one show rather than a bunch of different projects kind of going all over the place. Surprisingly, all of our work looks really good together and um, our concepts work really well together too, so. Just waiting for the show to start. We got maybe a half hour left for it. People start arriving, expecting food and art. The food is like one of the most important parts. Like it's unwritten rule that your food has to be excellent. It's kind of what you're known for, I guess, in a weird way. I think we've networked enough that we're gonna have a good turnout, so. Oh man, there are people. Hey. I think I come with a pretty unique perspective compared to probably the other guys here because I became an art major just like that kind of like I I was a computer science major for almost two years when I came to Grand Valley and I wasn't enjoying myself completely and it just wasn't for me. So I thought, what, what do I enjoy? Like, so I decided art, uh, that's something I could try. I gave it a shot and I uh, wasn't that successful at the start, but it's just going at it and getting, putting myself out there, it's really paid off. I've, I've found a place where I, I, I fit and all it took was just jumping in. So it's a really good feeling when you make something and then you can see people interacting and having an experience with it. It went really well. Tonight went really well. I gained a lot more confidence in myself as an artist. It was great to see that other people now know my work and we're like oh you know what it was really great to see you know what kind of stuff you're doing I've never seen your work before or wow you made this that's what you're always doing behind that computer the list goes on and on I think this was just a really great decision on our part I think the um, reception went really well we had a good turnout so just having another show is just really great for me as an artist especially when I, I'll be graduating soon 
You know, in college, you have so many things accessible to you, and it's so easy to just ignore it all. Every once in a while, it's good to step out of your comfort zone and to explore what this university has to offer, what this, I mean, just college experience in general has to offer. I think it's important for everyone to come over to Calder um, or any show. Every show is different, just like every TV show, every movie, every game. It's like every work every person makes is different. So if you come to a, come to a show, you might find something that blows your mind. You, it just It's different. It's a mixed bag. It's, it's definitely worth it. Thank you.